Hello everyone, in this particular lecture we are going to learn about how to use fetch API in JavaScript. Well, fetch function is basically a built-in function in JavaScript that are used to make the HTTP request like uh, get or post, right? And your fetch API is used to get the data from a server or send the data to the server, right? So it worked using promises and is commonly used to call APIs on the internet. So let's understand that how to code it and how to use it right in the JavaScript. So let's start and let's code. So let's first take any free API from the internet. So I'm going to take a fact API. Now here you will get many websites, right? I will use this public API. Now, when you will reach this web, uh, website, here if you go down, you can see I am getting this get inside of it. This particular link is your API. So if I copy it and run into the browser, you can see that what I am getting, I am getting some result, right? So if I make it pretty, you can see here that this particular result includes a text and that text includes a fact. Right, some random fact that is other uh, KGB is a head quartered at number two Felix blah blah blah. Again, if I refresh it, I will get another data that is text and that is showing another fact that is Thomas Edition acclaimed inverter of the light bulb was afraid of the dark. Yeah, this is a fact basically, right? There's a, there's no use of this fact, but yeah, it is showing me so I'm going to use this API in my JavaScript. Fine. So let's start. Let's start using this. Now what we will do is that we will copy the particular API into a variable, right? So let's make a variable named link equals to, and this is our API, right? right yes. So let's create an async function first. So let's create a async function and store it inside get facts. So inside of this, I'm writing that console.log getting data. Right now, I'm going to fetch the data from this particular API. For that, I'm going to use the fetch function. Right. So, and whatever the data I will receive after fetching the information from this API, I will store it inside a variable, right? So let's create a variable named response equals to, now I will use the await, await here and then I will use the fetch and inside of this I will pass this link. The link is this, this is the link, right? Yeah. And why I'm using await? Because I don't want that my code will go further or execute further until all the response from this particular fetch will go into this variable right so after that now what I'm going to do is that I will do console dot log sorry dot log and then the response right so let's see that what I'm going to get into my console first of all I will call this function yeah let's see so this is our console and I think we have done something wrong here. Get facts has been called and uh, I'm fetching the API from here. Yeah, so this is our data, right? Let's, yeah. So as you can see here, I'm getting the response and inside of this, I'm getting a lot of data like body, body use, header, prototype, like it is a lot of thing, right? But what we want to take out is this, this information, but the response is not showing me the same result here, right? It is showing something very meshy. So what I have to do to get that data, well, for getting that information, you need to convert it into a JSON format. For that we use a JSON method, right? So let data equals to, again I will use the await keyword here and then response, then 
this is your response the all the data that you are seeing here is basically inside this response and i'm i will use the json method here json and then a bracket right yeah now if i try to print this data then console.log sorry dot log and then data right and i will comment it down now if i want to print the data here now what data is doing data is actually converting the all the meshy information of this fetch link right into the useful content so if i go into my console now i check now you can see that what i am getting is this the id language permalink source source URL and our text this is what we were searching for right yeah so every time you use your fetch function what you need to do is that first you will use the away first async await right and after that you will fetch it with the help of this fetch function right and after getting all the information or all the responses we will convert it into the useful information using this json method right so this is how you get your all information from the api with the help of fetch keyword and this is how you fetch your api right i hope that you understood the concept very carefully and clearly right so this is all for today's video i hope you get it and uh, if you like it then make sure that you hit the like button and uh, hit the subscribe button also thank you so much for watching goodbye